alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and right now I am doing a get ready with me, a little chit chat video. I figured I had to put on some makeup and paint my face for the day to film other videos, so I might as well make this one a video as well. In addition, my face is completely bare right now. I just went ahead and washed it using my Spin for Perfect Skin Brush. If you guys want 70% off on one of these, use my code below because then it's like super cheap and these things are amazing. I use them every single day. It just makes your face feel really good. Gets rid of all that dirty makeup that doesn't come off with the makeup wipes. Code is below. Go check it out go get one for yourself after that I went ahead and put on this lotion by the way pretty much my entire makeup routine has changed since the last one that I did I rarely film these but I was like okay a lot has changed now before we get started priming our face we are going to put our hair back I use one of these handy handy clips right here that's just easiest for me because sometimes I don't want to put my hair up and then I have like the kinks in it because I just straightened it as you could like maybe tell I don't know my hair is pretty naturally straight on its own I use the stuff from Mary Kay that I got from my friend it works really well it sort of closes up your pores so that makeup doesn't get like stuck in them or whatever. I like to put it over my eyelids too because I use it as like an eyeshadow primer as well. After I let that sit before I put on concealer, foundation, all that, I actually do eyebrows first. I don't remember if I did eyebrows first before, but my eyebrow routine has gotten so much more simple since doing the whole tinting video that I made, you know, where I like basically dye them because then I don't need to fill them in as hard like at all. I use one of these pencils. You can get them at Target. It's Sonia Kasuk or something like that. Yeah, it's just like a brown eyebrow pencil and I love it because no matter how how hard or soft you press you're gonna get the same result so it's like pretty hard to mess up and just sort of like outline the tail and then go in where it's looking a little bit sparse with light looking brush strokes and then do it to the other side as well this makes it look pretty natural in my opinion plus once we go ahead and conceal around them they're gonna look even better then if I feel like it I will sometimes go ahead and use the Anastasia stuff it's mostly just for the purpose of the tip but in the front if I'm gonna do anything there I'll go like up like that and then brush it out clean them up a little bit now that we've done that we're gonna take our concealer I just use this little guy it is Maybelline instant age rewind a lot of people use it you can get it at any drugstore and I go underneath my eyes just like that I go on my eyelids and then I kind of like go around my eyebrows like that so it's like <laughs> I don't know what to call this shape, but yeah, and then I go around my nose. I honestly use concealer all over my face Sometimes I don't even use foundation at all And then if you have any problem areas like a pimple or something I would go ahead and cover that up now as well I do use my hand to rub it in but I use a brush afterwards I'm going home to Ohio in like a week and I'm really excited to see my family I'm also gonna be visiting some friends while out there maybe doing a couple YouTube collabs I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't do vlogmas this year, but I did didn't really have much of a choice because of the gum surgery. This is a flat brush from e.l.f. by the way. I would recommend this. This is like a staple item. I feel like with makeup, it works for everything. But yeah, I've really been enjoying watching everyone's vlogmas. Maybe I'll do a week of vlogs more towards Christmas. I mean, that's kind of like not the same thing, but next year, maybe I could do vlogtober as well. I actually found out the reason why people do vlogmas and vlogtober. Not saying that everyone does it because of this, but the reason why that's a thing is because the ad revenue is allegedly a lot better this time of year due to advertisers for Christmas and Black Friday and whatnot. And then in January, it's like awful. So I guess that's why people do it in theory to like make up for January when like money is lower because there's less ads. I didn't even know that until yesterday. Who invented Vlogmas? I have no idea. So now we're gonna go ahead and just put some basic foundation over all this. I don't wear foundation all the time, but I am honestly trying to like use up the rest of this one. It works well, but I just wanna experiment with different kinds. So we're just gonna slab this on my face. I am not one to use beauty blenders. You already know. I don't know why I've just never used them and I don't plan on starting now I feel like I've already talked to you guys about this Maybe it was on like a you now stream or something But I did actually just get my apartment in Chico because I will be moving there to finish up my next couple years of schooling At Chico State and my apartment is so much better than the one I currently live in just the way it's set up It's about the same size, but like there's more cabinets and there's an extra closet and things like that So I'm I'm literally so excited plus the backyard is huge there's like a whole forest in the backyard it's just a bigger complex in general there's two pools there's a sauna now I think this is a new product from last time this is the Maybelline fit me and I still use the big fluffy brush that I have from benefit just powder everywhere but yeah I'm super excited to be living there also because it's like an hour and a half closer to the Bay Area the Bay Area is where I'm from it's where all my friends live and stuff so now we're gonna take the Hoola Benefit bronzer and just slap it on my face I use a little I don't know what to call these brushes I have no idea and go like that 
And then I do my forehead. I feel like this new year is definitely a new year for me, like 2018, new school, new location, new apartment. Basically, I feel like the start of this year was the exact same. I was living in the same spot and going to the same school. Nothing wrong with that, but like this is really a new year. Like new year, new me. Oh, by the way, this is Hervana from Benefit. I guess I'm using kind of a lot of Benefit products. Highlighter, this is like a little e.l.f. brush again. These are cheap, but they work really well. And it's the e.l.f. highlighter. It sucks at the top of it, but when you get to the middle, it's like very pigmented. Like once you scrape down in there and it comes out good. I don't like a ton of highlighter because then I feel like I look sweaty. So I just put a little bit on my cheeks and that's about it. I'm so excited to do a new apartment too, where like it's just gonna be great. So I never really know what the heck to do with eyeshadow like I am not the best at it so we're just gonna play around right now I have all three naked palettes there might be a fourth at this point I'm not sure and then I have the modern renaissance palette and I actually just ordered myself a couple new palettes for like a little early Christmas gift to myself because they were super sparkly and I love sparkly stuff okay so this is foxy it's just like a yellowish color and I'm just gonna put it all over my lid to be honest I've never understood the point of these type of colors because it's like basically your skin color but I know that that's supposed to be the base so I'm I'm just gonna do that. Oh, I know what I wanted to talk about. You guys may have seen me post about this on Instagram or Twitter if you follow me or Snapchat. If you don't follow me, go follow me, links below. And I was asking you guys about Bitcoin, your thoughts on it, if you guys have invested in it. I am not an investor myself. I'm not gonna pretend like I understand it because I don't understand it. And I don't think a lot of people do, including the people who are investing, which is kind of an issue. I mean, if you wanna seize the opportunity, go ahead. But I have mixed feelings about it and I've always been really interested in things that are controversial just because I'm curious to hear people's opinions on them, what people think, why people are for it or against it and their experiences with it. So if you guys have any personal experiences or strong opinions one way or the other, or if you're just in the middle like I am, let me know in the comment section below. Let's do Nooner from Naked 3 palette in my crease. Let's try that. I was at Alexa's house this weekend in Chico because she lives there when I was dropping off my deposit and like seeing my new place. And we watched so many documentaries on this and we still don't get it. We were Googling stuff. We spent probably like a good two hours trying to understand it. And like, I get the idea of it, but I just don't understand understand how it magically appears in like somebody else's Bitcoin wallet or whatever. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's a cryptocurrency. It's the same currency everywhere in the world. And it's like electronic, but you can't trace it at all. Like it just shows up. It's transparent, not regulated through banks, etc. And the stock is skyrocketing. And essentially a lot of people are getting rich from it. But at the same time, a lot of people are saying it's not real money and people are getting screwed. And like, I don't know when things like this happen, they either are the next Apple or it's like a huge scam and everyone's angry about it or it's it just dies. It's like Pokemon Go. Remember when that was a whole thing? People were finding dead bodies and like getting hit by cars and stuff. So I'm not saying this is like comparable to a gaming app, but still. I don't know what it is about these kind of tones, like the modern Renaissance ones, but I feel like they work well for every kind of eye color, like orange and pink and browns. I'm gonna use burnt orange and just like go underneath my eye, which I don't know if that like makes my makeup look better or worse. We're gonna roll with it. It's October. Why am I putting on orange? That's like pumpkins. I should be putting on red, but I don't really have red. I just have like pinks. Wait, this one says red. Let's do this instead. Ooh, okay. Here's the thing fun. From 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. today, I was on the phone with a professional astrologer. She contacted me via email and we've been talking nonstop ever since on the phone. Like we were literally talking since 10 a.m. That's what? 11, 12, 1, 2. That's four hours straight. She is so legit. So legit. As you guys know, I got scammed by a psychic, a legend psychic in LA around a year ago. She is nothing like that. And we just have like this really weird connection. And so we talk all the time now and she has told me things about myself and there's like no possible way that she could have guessed them because they're not generic at all they're very specific events that like nobody knows about at all she knows her stuff and she's also what they call an intuitive astrologer so she has a lot of insight like she picks up on vibes or however you want to call it. And what's funny is one of my New Year's resolutions was to learn more about astrology and understand it more and numerology and all that kind of stuff. And then it was like the universe, I don't know, she reached out to me a week ago or so when we've been talking a ton ever since. We're going to talk again tomorrow. Watching my videos, she was like, I think I knew this girl in past lives. And like we did based on our charts, if you believe in that kind of stuff. It's pretty crazy. I'm learning more and more every time I talk to her. I'm just excited for what the future has in store. Last night, I went ahead and wrote down about 300 million freaking video ideas. No lie. They're in the notebook right over there. Let's add some white to the corner. I learned that makes you look more awake. I don't really have any white, but I do have like freaking 1% of this eyeshadow right here. It's called Virgin. So I'm going to put that in like the very corner of my eye because your girl was up super late and then she woke up super early to talk to her astrologer friend. And also me moving means that I can open up a whole chapter of story times from living here, which I have been waiting to share for sort of like 
I guess not legal purposes, but like it just wasn't a time to share them when I was still living in this apartment. So stay tuned for that. I'm bringing a lot of story times back as well as conspiracy theories because I have some interesting ones. My whole thing with conspiracy theories is that I don't like to do the ones that are super mainstream that everyone does, which is why pretty much majority of the ones I've done have been unique. They're not like Bush did 9-11 or like whatever. I mean, I'm not trying to offend anybody. Just like those conspiracies. Those are interesting and all, but like everyone knows about those. They're very, very common. Same thing with a lot of the Mandela effect videos. I don't want to copy anybody else. And a lot of the time with conspiracy theories, if you do one that other people have done, it looks like you are, even if it's unintentional, just because it's the same information. So I do have some conspiracy theories I've never seen anyone do before that I kind of like found on my own or heard from other people. And I'm going to do some further research on and make videos. So I'm really excited and you guys should be too. Now I'm going to use this Maybelline Master Precise. It's the same one I used last time for eyeliner. And I just do little wings. Sometimes they get thicker than others, depending on the day, depending on how even they are. But we're gonna try for thin ones. I start out there and then I bring it in. This is kind of dull, or not dull. It's not a real actual tip, but it's kind of like out of juice. I need to order a new one. Now we're gonna do the other eye and then touch them up, make them look more symmetrical. I heard in psychology that symmetry is like the number one most attractive quality that people naturally look for when they're like looking at someone's outward appearance. So fun fact, if you didn't know, now you know. I can take this out now. These are like even-ish enough, I feel like. And I always use a little mascara primer before putting on mascara. This one is, uh, I don't even know what brand this is. It doesn't matter. They're all like interchangeable because I don't wear falsies. I don't have eyelash extensions. I don't F with that. If you guys saw my one video, I talked about why I hated eyelash extensions for the one time that I did it, which was for a total of like three days before I ripped them out. Terrible experience. So yeah, they're not for me. Therefore, I just use mascara. This helps them to stay on. This is just a basic Maybelline. I use a lot of freaking Maybelline. I never noticed that until no. I do some on the bottom, but I basically just like dab it like this. I'm also trying to get videos filmed in advance for when I'm in Ohio so I can spend more time with my family versus like work, you know, because I'm only there for like a couple of weeks. Also, when I get back, I'm freaking moving like I already mentioned. I have to drive a U-Haul. This is going to be scary. Hopefully someone else can drive it for me and I can just drive my car there and like put stuff in the car. But I rented a U-Haul for the day that I am moving. I never wear lip color like ever, but when I film, I usually try to because I feel like it helps them stand out because I have little lips. This is actually lip stain. Let me just put it on. It's like really dark pink. Ooh, I haven't used this in forever. Do lipsticks like go bad or no? I like lip stainer stuff because you can like eat and you don't taste the color on your lips because it's like just staining them. Like I ate a bunch of cherries. That's basically what just happened. But let's put something on top too. Let's put this Clinique lip gloss. I feel like these two actually go really well together. <laughs> this is my makeup routine. This is how I do my makeup. I honestly can do this in about five minutes before class, my college classes, but I honestly don't wear makeup at school like ever, like unless I have somewhere to be afterwards or something or like. I don't know. I'm going crazy that day. This is just, I guess, if you want to do your makeup super quick, easy products. Pretty much all of these you can buy at the drugstore with the exception of like, I mean, half of them actually. But uh, I don't use them because they're name brand. I just use them because I've had them for the ones that are kind of like name brand-ish. And this is just what I do every single day. It's funny because Alexa was telling me how she wakes up and she watches a different tutorial I just said A-L-E-X-A and my speaker didn't even go off. That's like the first time that's happened in so long. I was at Alexa's house. Oh, I think it's because my phone is disconnected from it. Anyways, I was at her house and she was telling me that every morning she wakes up and she watches a different tutorial in order to decide what look she wants to go for that day with her makeup. And I'm just like, girl, I only have one look. Like, I don't know how to do anything else besides this. This is all you're getting. This is as good as it gets. So if you're not happy with this, then I'm sorry. And I'm not a beauty channel at all. Like I said, I just do these occasionally for the purpose of just really talking in case any of you guys care. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Also, thank you guys so much for 200K. It's unbelievable. I was in surgery around the time this was happening but I did in front of my reacting to my cringy old videos video talk about it for briefly a moment and say thank you in advance so again thank you guys so much you guys are so awesome if you guys want more content pictures videos etc private snapchat I do have a patreon link below follow my social media I will have the links on the screen for you guys subscribe turn on notifications by hitting the bell twice that way you get all my notifications and I love you guys so much thumbs up comment below if you guys want more videos like this once in a while because it's fun to catch up and have our little talk time and I I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.